What makes you most excited for the 2016 BYU football season? Perhaps it's a chance to watch a guy named Taysom Hill or Tanner Mangum, the quarterbacks in general. Taysom, welcome back to Studio B. It's man. great to be here, guys. It's been a while. I feel like, it uh, has been a while. yeah, I don't know what's going on. It has been a very long time. And uh, as you pointed out, when Tuni Kanuch was leaving the studio, you get the final say in this. Yeah, that's right. I ha- <laughs> well, first of all, like my things with you guys. Like, first of all, you don't you don't ask a lineman what variations you're going to do on offense, right? <laughs> they like, have no idea, they man. they line up he and they hit that the, they hit the guy in front of them. You know what I mean? It's like they don't <laughs> know bad. what's going on. Hey, my bad. You <laughs> say pass or run. That's the variation that they're familiar with. Food or no food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is funny, what, but what let's 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 be real. Like Tooney Tooney has like you know maybe like this far to go on a squat. <laughs> So, like, he's doing a quarter squat, you know what I mean? It's like nobody can outlift a quarter squat. So, let's let's just get that out of the way. A full squat. A full squat, you know? And he's got 100 pounds on me, you know? Yeah. So let's let's let, I just want to he throw should. a few well, things. What he said is a, a few things out there. I can't let a quarterback yeah. outlift me. So you're motivating him. I'm, I'm motivating him. You know? Yeah. He should have to live or lift like 100 pounds more than me, right? To to for his body like weight. Relative. Yeah. You know. It's like golf. There's right. a handicap in both. There's a there, handicap. Right? Yeah. No, uh, it's okay. I'm glad that I'm glad that the guys in front of me lift more than me. So. They, uh, they should. They if should. they don't, I have an issue with that. <laughs> well, there's great, a right? few that don't, actually. <laughs> Tooney, Tooney might be the only one. We don't, I don't want know. to put out names, but here's the death chart. You can just circle them. You don't uh, have to say it. That's funny. Hey, what's this like for you? Because you didn't expect to be back in 2016, uh, a couple years ago, but here you are. So emotionally, what's this like for you? Man, I don't know. Um, it, it's it's I, it's weird, you know. I, I thought that last year was my – my last year at BYU and that was kind of my mentality and as I approach fall camp like man this is my last fall camp I'm gonna get everything I got and that obviously didn't happen so I think my my perspective is just I don't, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to play and what that is so I just want to cherish every moment of it and um, the new coaching staff and the change adds like a lot of excitement so it's it's new to me which has been nice because I've been here for you know four years going on five now and um just trying to make the most of the situation how much did the new staff play a part in kind of like yeah i, I want to go back and do this again yeah that was huge um i think the news of coach menahal leaving was like okay well like it doesn't make sense for me to come back here right like those are the guys i know with you know i was loyal to them they're loyal to me and and everything and then as kalani came in and then ty i I had a lot of conversations with them, right? It was like I was being recruited all over by those guys. And um, I would just say, like, we, we had a lot of hard hard conversations, right? And and um, I made sure that they felt that there was a need for me here and I wouldn't have come back if, if there wasn't. And um, But at the end of the day, I'm a BYU guy, right? I, I love this place, and and uh, it's, it's a special place. I want to be part of it. Could you play today, or do you need more time to recover from list rank? I, I could play today. I think, uh, uh, yeah, I, I totally think I could. I did all of our agilities. I've been doing everything, and um, I, I'm totally confident I could play today. You also played on a broken foot, Taysom. You're, <laughs> you're not a normal human being. You went back in the uh, game, Taysom. That's right. That was I, unbelievable. I don't have a response to that. Yeah, <laughs> it, just, it, it is what it is, you know. Uh, adrenaline, whatever. Yeah. yeah. When when we look back at that game, it, it, and and we were told during halftime what your injury was. Um, it, it didn't come out till after the game. So that was it, for us. It, that was an emotional experience as well, watching yeah. how that played out. How did you go back out? Like, how did you do that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of conversations back in the locker room. I talked to all the doctors and everything. And my wife actually came down to the locker room, and we made sure that. Uh, we felt comfortable with it, but I think at the end of the day, I knew how severe it was because Craig Bills, my brother-in-law, just went through it. I knew it was a season-ending thing, and um, you know, I just felt that if they were going to allow me the opportunity, that I was going to take advantage of it because I knew that was it for the for the year. Well, not only did you go out, but you played well. So, yeah. I mean, there's a whole other chapter to that dynamic of that Nebraska game, and it's, I mean, as much as it's painful to look back on that, like. The beauty of that game is something that I know BYU fans will cherish forever. Taysom Hill with us in Studio B. It is Media Day 2016. We just talked to Tanner Mangum, and and Jaron brought this up. He says that he feels like the key to all of this is the attitudes that you guys both carry. And it 
it generally wouldn't work, but he feels like you're both so mature. And I agree. Um, and Tanner mentioned that you're both BYU guys. How do you see that, that relationship developing moving forward? Yeah. You know, I, I think, uh, it's it's great to have good players on the team right and i think it's it's healthy and it helps get uh the most out of players you know when when you have guys that you can compete with that are good football players um but i think at the end of the day like my mindset has always been to be as good as i possibly can right and so the competition that i view is like me getting healthy and and just being as, as good as i possibly can right and um tanner's a, a great dude super happy he's here you know i had a, a great year with him last year and i wish him all the success in the world typically when there's a quarterback battle it can be divisive like within the team how do you avoid that or at least limit that to some degree you know i think uh this is not like a conversation that we have right this is <laughs> this is the conversation that the media has right and that the fans are all worried about and concerned about and and you have to talk about it right as as media and it's just what you do but this is not like in no way like is this is this reflective of what the locker room is like you know we're not in the lock in the in the locker room having this conversation like oh what's going on like it's just no way like that you know what i mean so when we come on and, and we're asked these questions it's almost kind of silly to us you know because this isn't something that we we continue to to, to bring up yeah so that's you, the, you don't that's... think it'll be an issue then no i mean i don't i I don't think that there's going to be any issue on, on my end. I don't want to speak for anybody else, right? Um, but, uh, you know, that's that's how I feel. Ty Detmer has made it clear that he is happy to have two capable quarterbacks, and he feels confident that you will both make each other better in fall camp because of this. So he feels like, in a way, they're going they're going to be better than they would be if they weren't together. Yeah, I and, and that's kind of what I was alluding to, right? It's I think it's healthy when you have – good players on your team because it motivates everybody to be better and 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 work harder and and so forth what's the story about you dunking the basketball by the way <laughs> yeah let's talk about that well i kind of want to hear like your version of the story so i can either like confirm or deny because if it's really good because i've heard some really good stories just... we heard you went through the legs <laughs> 360 Harold Minor, D Brown. yeah that's that's yeah. exactly yeah. what it was and a windmill windmill over was the, in there over too the Kia Optima. Yeah. No, we, we were at the Fan Fest in California. We we're playing hoops with, with some of the kids that were at the barbecue. And they were all just like, dunk it, you know, like start chanting. And so I said, okay. I went and jumped off one foot and I two-hand dunked it. Like, But the story gets better every time I hear it, you know. <laughs> it was like I, I simply dunked the ball. Like, Well, well, after uh, 2012, there was, wasn't was there this rumor that you got hurt playing softball? Yes, the there was. So there's always some rumor yeah, about there something. Was. You know yeah. what I mean? So I don't it's know what the story was, but that's that's, that one actually that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. But I didn't get hurt. You know, yeah. I just I just dunked it. And, you know. <laughs> so do you do you take precaution prior to this season physically in like okay I would I would play this or do this but maybe I won't like like boating <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um. You know, I I I actually think my my foot. You know, it's just kind of limit that because i still get sore you know so sure. i don't want to go play basketball and then be sore for workouts the next day so my my injuries kind of made me do that you know um but yeah i'm, I'm not out screwing around you know it doesn't affect my golf game thank goodness <laughs> um, but uh yeah i it it, it just it i i just i rehab i've exhausted every you know opportunity to see any new doctor like physical therapist like i've done everything to uh make sure that i'm as healthy as i possibly can be do you play golf a ton um i say i play about once a week okay once you you say that yeah but that's, is that the truth no that's a, that's that's the <laughs> truth i play about once a week what's your handicap you know, I don't keep like a traditional hand. I don't. I'm not signed up on USGA, you know, or anything like that. But I would say I'm about a five or six. Oh That's my good. good grief! That's pretty good. Did you play golf in high school? Uh, not competitively. I just you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a prereq to play. You know, <laughs> like quarterback at BYU, right? Yeah, it's like, truth. You have to golf. This yeah, is true. And I will say, yeah. like, like Dave always gets mad when we when we play golf. Dave Nixon, right? Dave Nixon, right? I just played with him. I I know it well. <laughs> yeah, we, we saw it. Yeah, we saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. So he always gets mad. He's like, "Oh, he's a freaking quarterback," you know. Like it's the same <laughs> motion of throwing. It gives it to me every day. You I know. I explained that earlier to Tanner too. Yeah. Yeah. That same thing. It um, is. It is the same motion though. 
Okay, CampusRush.com, Sports Illustrated. They did an article on your recovery, which I thought was really good. Um, and in that, they highlighted that you have been evaluated in a different way this year to where you're trying to get certain parts of your body to fire in a different way. Can you explain yeah, 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 a little bit for more sure. about that? So uh, I think technically this guy is like a physical therapist, but he does an alternative work. And what he does is he targets – specific muscles in your entire body so mm. he'll put your arm in a vulnerable position right to test a muscle and then he'll see if you can resist it mm. and then if you can't it tells him that okay this muscle that i was testing is not firing and so there's pressure points in the body that send signals to the brain that then send signals to the muscle that reactivates the muscle. It's kind of crazy Holy stuff. Holy technology. But like, that was great. That's great. It, uh, you know, he'll put me in the same position after he does that, and, and I'll resist, and I can totally resist it. Hmm. And it, it's like, it's kind of crazy stuff, but he's all about getting the body balanced. Mm. So all the muscles are taking all the, the brunt force that it's supposed to be taking. And, and again, like I said, I've just exhausted, you know, every opportunity. Just going to say you've done yeah. everything. So I've tried everything. Injury prevention, uh, strengthening. Is that the point of that? All of the above. Yeah. I think it's, it's part of, you know, making sure that all the muscles, the little muscles in my foot are all engaged and firing and, and then, um, it's injury prevention, you know? So I think, you know, he believes that uh, some issue, like when, when you have an injury, the muscle that was injured shuts down and your body's all about um, protecting itself. And so the other muscles around it will start to compensate and work harder, mm -hmm. but that muscle never activated again. And so he, it's, it's preventative. It's, I don't know. It's weird stuff. You sure you want to go into business and not do something yeah. like this now that you're an expert in I've this? I've had enough injuries, right, where I, I probably should be a doctor. I, you, could, you could make some good, yeah. a good future yeah, being a doctor. Right. That's right. Taysom, great to have you with us. We'll finish with this. Our Twitter question today is, what are you most excited about for in the 2016 BYU football season? You know, I think uh, my my perspective is probably unique, and I alluded to this before, but it's just I'm, I don't take anything for granted anymore. You know, and, and I wanted to come back in college because you just can't replicate the experience of playing in college in these stadiums. Like, it's incredible with your friends. And um, I would say I'm just super excited to to be out with everybody and, and to play in these stadiums, play in these venues, go to Lavelle Edwards Stadium and – that's what I'm most excited for. I am 100% confident. I speak for everyone across BYU Sports Nation when I say it's great to have you back. Thanks, guys. It's great to be back. Do you mind uh, giving us your Herbie Hancock on that uh, flag? Oh, the flag. Yeah. I feel, like, honored. Like, what's like, w w like? do I actually get to sign the flag? Yeah, yes. you can sign the flag. You sign it as big as you want to. We, we wanted a 25-year-old <laughs> quarterback to sign the flag, so you 